It's really more of a film with wet hair kind of day. Hi, my name is Julie, notice lack of E. And I told the internet that I was gonna write a K-pop song today. Hey you guys, so the time has come. I literally know nothing about K-pop. Like, actually nothing. But I'm gonna try to write a hit K-pop song. <laughs> this is the last video in the series. If you didn't see the other videos, I wrote a song in Spanish, French, German, and Swedish. Now we've come to the end of the road. Mm -hmm. Let's start with some research. So I know that K-pop, like, is a huge thing. So I know that there's like a lot of like English in K-pop, so that will do me good. I'm gonna watch some BTS videos. Okay, so what I'm picking up is basically, it's kind of like regular pop on steroids. So there's a lot of repetition, there's a lot of one key word that's repeated over and over again, and then oohs and ahs between the word. And usually the word is in English, like the title word of the song is typically in English, and so maybe I can do this. <laughs> Also, all the things that they're saying that aren't English just are like Okay, pop concepts! Okay, I have an idea, but I want to make sure that it's not something that's already been done before. Here's my concept. The song is called Blink, and it's about someone that's in such a toxic relationship with someone that's literally so untrustworthy that the second they blink, the person's cheating on them. And so it's like, I can't even blink around you because you're gonna go off and cheat on me the second that I blink. I was gonna call it Close My Eyes, but I think there's like 17,000 songs called Close My Eyes. Oh, right. <clears throat> Let me just look at some K-pop charts. Just get in the vibe. <laughs> Obviously, you guys know this, but my accent or ability to read a different alphabet is not gonna be stellar. I know absolutely nothing about Eastern languages. Namas. Namasakim? A guy who's just a friend. So maybe the chorus could be like, I like Namasakim. This is gonna be so bad. Holy oh, shit. <laughs> okay, Korean phrases maybe. Excuse me, such just a moment is. How do you pronounce that? Google Translate. <laughs> I'm sorry! Think like in sync, but they're Korean. I thought you loved me. I made a mistake. I what? I know. Do you love me? Okay, it's time for that part in K-pop songs where they're like, yo, yo, come on, let's say that, but that. Stop. Imperative. Jungji. Jungji. Do not break my heart. Okay, just say, stop. My heart. Jungji. Jungji. You broke it. What the fuck, dude? And then it should be like the little Korean, like. I should start with the ooh or something. I should be like, oh, I glad I'm not my second. And you run away from me every single time. Something on you, say I see some way. Something on you, not a salon, honey. Show me.
Nishim Shah, Tongue Song, Google So Bula. Act like I'm the master key and you run away from me every single time I blink. Oh, I blink. Oh, I blink every single time I blink. This is way too horrible to like make it any longer, so I'm gonna stop there. I'm um, trying to. Yeah, okay. Hope <coughs> you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm sorry for anyone who speaks uh, an Eastern language, such as Korean, because I sure as hell don't. Subscribe to this channel. Please become a patron. I'm teaching a GarageBand series right now where I go real deep, teaching you how to do everything with GarageBand. Subscribe to this channel. I'm going to post a How to Write a Julia Michael song very soon. Follow me on Instagram and check out my original music. Uh, it's not K-pop. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hope y'all have a great day.